I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about how to drop table and database in Azure Data Studio. So add here first you should log in with the master account. So add here first I am going to do one thing, disconnect and here let's uh, uh, click on new connection. So keep the server name that is localhost. Now here this is the user, the user SA and the password. Now here after select the database. So add here select in database master. So I log in with master now. Here after go to new query. So I will uh, drop uh, or database like uh, X. Okay. So add here. First I'm going to show you the database. Here, let's give password. And here you can find the database. Different database are there. So some here you can find database name X. So this database I'm going to delete. Now here after cancel that one. Now here so I log in with master. So currently this is uh, uh, master is selected. Now here after let's write drop. So here you can find the drop database. Press enter. So give the database name that is X. Now here after execute that. So the command completed successfully. So or you can write at your drop database X. Now here after the next thing is or uh, is selected here disconnect and here connect again. So let's uh, see right here to local host. Now here user SA and the password one two three four and here you can find database. So when I try to find at your database name or uh, X, so X is not available. So this uh, that means so uh, database X is successfully deleted. Now here after the next uh, query is for to delete the table. So add here this is comes or uh, let's comes inside SA and here Adam. So Adam has a uh, uh, different tables. So now I'm going to delete the uh, tables add here so we should log in with because add here I'm using SA and here using our database atoms so now here let's remove that one and here write and drop so here you can find drop table now specify the table name so going to write add here sample so if you execute so command completed successfully. Now refresh that. So if object execute once again, command completed again successfully. Refresh. Okay, one more thing. It selected add here master. So we need our database. Sorry, table inside add here Adam. Also select add here Adam. Now here after execute the query once again. So command completed, now refresh. So this time sample or table, it's a deleted. Or if you want, here you can directly right click. Here you can find a script dropped. Now this is the query that automatically generated. So going to or delete drop location. Command completed successfully. Now here after refresh the folder. So you cannot find location tables. So this is the way we can or uh, draw our table and database in Azure Data Studio. So there is a one important thing. So data what? So database must be also table. So if you are going to delete to table inside Adam database, so you should select add here Adam. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.